Hey guys, Gary J here. Uh, this is a Kylie by Bob Parisi. This is a beautiful colored um, maple right here. Almost a ghost color to me. Really pretty. And um, you see how this uh, wood grain is, how pretty that is. Anyway, it's an art to making a Kylie throw correctly. A real science to that, if you can call it a science. But no two Kylies are going to throw exactly the same. And um, Bob Parisi has spent uh, decades working on Kylies and trying to make a uh, recipe that you can use on all Kylies, but it's, they all seem to be uniquely different. As he said, there's no cookbook recipe for them. You just have to uh, cut them out, and I think this is a 35 degree angle, the way this one's pointing from the main shaft here. And that seems to be a good angle of, of turn there that you want in a Kylie. And also doing the airfoils on the on the uh, out on the inside and outside and on both sides of the Kylie itself is really an art form. And uh, you have to throw it; it doesn't fly right. Then you have to know how much to take off on the uh, airfoils and so forth. And uh, that becomes a real Rubik's cube puzzle sometimes trying to figure out how to make it throw perfect. But uh, Bob Parisi has uh, spent years doing this and he's been able to figure them out pretty well and uh, these are just a work of art. Three. Well, well that went so straight the wind stopped <laughs> so it didn't catch it like I wanted it to. But incredibly straight that's just awesome and that went out about 50 yards okay now this is our birch the bigger one got a little wind coming towards us right now let's see if we can do the same same thing we want to see what happens when it runs out of momentum one two three That was a good throw, but it, that went awesomely straight too. And another 50 yards against the wind. Okay guys, we've been throwing these at a 45 degree on our release and, and fairly parallel with the ground. That's how we see how they do if we throw them uh, completely uh, flat. That'd be three o'clock on our release. One, two. Well, I'm going to throw up my car, but I'm not throwing that hard. One, two, three. Okay, that one went out a good 50 yards, and she went she went out and turned just a little bit, but still stayed straight on that course. As she veered out, but went straight toward the car. She went about 50 yards. She missed my car by a long ways, though, so that's good. Hey guys, I'm gonna throw in this direction right here. Got a little clearing right here. I'm gonna throw it 40% power with kind of a fluid motion. Okay, we're gonna see how she throws. A fluid motion. One, two, three. Okay, that's like 40% power. And with Bob Parisi's Kylie, they went out. Oh, I don't know. I have to mark it off. It looks like about 60 yards, which that's that's pretty good. Now here's the other one. This is the birch with the weights. Just kind of a fluid, graceful throw, 40% power. I think. That one waffled a little bit. That doesn't throw it quite as far. That one, that one went out to looks like about 45 yards. I'm gonna mark it off. But it shows you you don't have to throw them with 100% power to get distance on them. You can get 50, 60 yards easy with like 40% power as long as you throw them with just kind of a use your whole body, turning your torso and everything when you throw them. One other thing on that waffling, when you see them waffle, if if you're releasing them wrong, if you like this, this is supposed to be like the way you're going to release it, and you're turning it a little bit toward you or down, it's going to waffle like that when it goes out. 
if you got like that, it's, it's going to go out and the wind's going to catch it and it's just going to flip her back and forth. And let's try this one. One, two, three. Oh man. And she went out. Oh, close to 100 yards. Now she, the beauty of these right here to me, I love to see them when they go out like at 45 and they go out uh, 30, 30 yards, 40 yards, they begin to lay over and then they, they level flat. And then when they level flat, they keep going flat and then they come down. Okay, we're coming up on the weighted one here. <clears throat> this one kind of floated out at the end, lost a little speed, but I counted her at 53 yards with a, really like a 40% throw just kind of a graceful throw not like a not like a really fast throw like that kind of graceful throw with spin and so we got that kind of yardage with that so you know we can easily break a hundred yards if we really throw it okay on this one we threw her uh, about 70 yards and uh, like I said it was kind of a grace it's kind of a slow motion grace like being underwater type throw and uh, throw it with spin so it's usually about 40% power maybe 50% power at the most so that just shows you how far you can throw these out if you throw them with a little bit of technique and kind of a fluid uh, throw the only way I can explain that is kind of like it has to be uh, like, like if you're underwater you got full control of your stick when you release it and all I'm gonna throw this one to this tree right here. Let's see how straight she goes. One, two, three. And she went straight up to the toward the tree, veered off a little bit to the to the left here. Not bad at all, but she went the way I threw her, and that's she went straight, almost straight as an arrow. And that's really incredible, about 50 yards out. And that wasn't a hard throw. Now, if you're looking for a Kylie uh, that throws straight and it's really beautiful, handcrafted, and uh, well made, Bob Farisi is one of the best in the United States uh, at making Kylies. I don't know too many people that can really make them uh, to that quality. I'm sure there are a few out there that can. But uh, he does such a wonderful job on there. But uh, he's golden when it comes to making these Kylies. Like I said, they go straight.